Howdy, howdy. Good day, mate. Now Paul's 372 XP. I've got a um, shotgun muffler on it now. Very happy you guys can see that. A two outlet. And I thought, see what it sounds like. It hasn't changed at all. Same um, tapes and changes the other day. So I'll just start her up and see what it sounds like. It might, it might need more fuel, I gather it would, but um, yeah, this is not shit. Most that up. Yesterday I spent six and a half hours holding the saw like that, cutting all this stuff up, all these big blocks with hard work or home, iron bark and um, spotted gum, heavy juice stuff. All stuff and you get split to fill the bay again and again. Pretty pleased though. Oh, that's a crap there. Ready? Cut them up, small, big, small, big. Cut them off. Rest on the wood on the boat, but wood in the yard. So hopefully you do some more splitting on Thursday. But fill it up and out there you get. Made all the way up to halfway um, about three days ago, so we're doing well. Now let's just do cutting. Pretty short, right? Well, two days. Those are red eye mark up. I am back to come to Kimba. Sharpened last night, different way than usual. Let's see how he cuts it. Gunda, Gunda. So off with the tungsten carbide chain, which is uh, it's still sharp, but it's dull. It's running out of um, should be tickled off, so it's a bit sharpened. Now this one's been um, sharpened last night. It feels damn sharp. Why I do it now? But just because it feels sharp, might be sharp. So I'll try this out now and cut it up. I'll do a video on it soon. Any of you guys interested? Same why I am a goose. Right, goosey, goosey. Let's do this.
Oh, boom, but great. So So this is for me to gauge how it is compared to the sharpness to a hand sharpening I had yesterday. The guy with the old yard, the hand sharpened everything, long hard um, noodles. So this is a hard stuff right out. I guess the soil will cut that in half, so it should look like. I know what it's like. Now there's sawdust, they're really long, that's from yesterday, they're hand sharpening, might have slightly longer ones, I'm not quite sure, but they're heavy, they feel, they think I look like, they're biting wool, they don't heavy, that really heavy. So to do it, to keep up with the hand sharpening one, I'll be happy with this, it will how long it lasts so. As I've said before, this is a working wood yard. So I not yeah, can't come here just to play what does it work to um let me do what I'm doing. Um but this block of wood here is slightly too long, it's off square. So I'll, I'll cut it a thin clue of it and I'll start cutting the rest off camera. Let's see she goes, should be fine. <laughs> Through it and I'll stand it back to Paul because it's all Paul's been good to the channel, he went to his, to pour his chainsaws, but um, yeah, it feels really good. Chirpy, I hate with the chain there because what we're doing, cutting forward here, is of um, bits of wood and that for people's backyards. Quite possibly have uh, bolts, nails, hinges, gate posts, all sorts of shit in the wood. And if you hit that hair filing, it's very hard to repair where you do it unless you um, sharpen it quite quickly. Um, it might waste your chain, but I prefer to be quicker and they're all the same every time. Anyway, 
All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I'll see you next video. Australia is Easter, baby.